Okay, this video is going to help you with being able to find um, the areas under the normal distribution using table E, which is found on page 634 in your textbook. It's back in the appendices. Appendices, excuse me. Okay, a couple things to remember here is, is that when you're thinking about the area under the normal distribution, um, I want you to remember that this distribution curve represents, so this entire thing, right here represents, if you look at it, approximately 100%. You know, I mean, if you look at it, it actually says 99.7, but, you know, it kind of, it tails out down here and it tails out down here. So overall, this represents 100% of the data, which in turn, what I want everyone to understand is, is that that means that if you take this thing and split it in half, 50% of the data is over here, which is the same thing as 0 0.50, and 50% of the data is over here, which corresponds to 0 0.50. So when we start going and find these values from the table E, and we see these numbers corresponding, we're seeing them relating to this decimal quantity. And remember that this area over here is half, and this area over here is half. So then you kind of, hopefully what this is, I'm trying to lead you to is this concept that if we are trying to find the area under the curve and we have different z-scores that we're given, then you kind of understand why you're adding z-scores or why you're adding areas or why you're subtracting areas to be able to find these answers. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first example. Um, what I decided, to, I'm sorry, one more thing is, here's the procedure table. This is found on page 287 and 288. I'm not going to go through the procedure table. That's something that's in the videos very thoroughly. It's in the e-professor, and it's in the um, it's also in the video lectures. So if you watch those, then you should be good. However, this video is to show you how they're getting these numbers from table E. This is actually from the e-professor, part 1A. And the the e professor goes through and works this problem and says, okay, if I'm given a z score of 0 0.092 and 0 0.187, and I want to find the area under the normal distribution curve between these two values, and he goes through and does some magic, and next thing you know, these numbers show up. Well, the girl in the video lectures, she does a great job of actually going through and kind of showing you that you start off here, and if I'm looking at the 0.9 that to get the point 0.9, I go down and find the point 0.9, and then to get the 2, I go point 0.02, and I go across. Because when I take point 0.9 and point 0.02, and I put them together, I get point 0.92. So what she's essentially saying is, she's saying, go down first on this guy and t find your point 0.9. So here he is, and I come across. Then come over on the top one and go over to point two and come down. And where you meet right there is the value that she's talking about. So um, with a z-score of 0.92, my area, sorry, my area is equal to 0.3212. Okay, so let's do that again. Let me change colors. Let's do it this time for the 1.87. So 1.8, so I come down here to get my 1.8. Okay, um, let's, I come down, I go down to get the 1.8. So there it is. So once I have my 1.8, I come across. And I'm going out to 0 0.07. So once again, in this case here, I have 1.87 which breaks down into 1.8 and 0 0.07, because when I add those together, I get 1.87. So it's like taking your tenths place and your hundredths place and splitting them apart. So I come down to the 1.8, I come across. I go to the 0.7, go right here to the 0.7, and I follow that down. Sorry, I'm not getting a very straight line. And where these two quantities meet, that's the value that the E professor guy is using. So if my Z value is 1.87, then my area corresponding to that is 0.4693. Now, the thing we have to understand here is all we care about is this right here. 
And right now, this value that corresponds to the point 187z value is 0.4693. That means that that's all of this area from the, the mean or from the zero there, from the halfway out, that's all that area. Well, our problem is, is that we have another value right here, and the z value is 0.92, and the area is 0.3212, and that area is this right here. So what we need to do is we actually care about finding the area here in blue. So to do that, we have to take the 0.4693 and subtract the 0.3212. And that's how he gets to his final answer to determine that the area under the curve between those two z values is 0.1481 which I want to make you understand that that is the same thing as 14.81%. Sorry. Okay, and all I did there to get that was multiply it times 100. Okay, I take it times 100, and I get to that. So the acceptable answer is either one. This is going to be the decimal value. This is going to be the percentage value. All right, so that's my first little video on how to use table E. And uh, now you should use this video to answer all the other questions that we're doing, whether it be finding the percentage underneath or whether it just be finding the area underneath.